Good and glorious morning, everybody. Welcome back to Truth Be Told. I pray that your ears are open to receive the truth of God. John 8, 32 says that the truth, know the, uh, know the truth and the truth will make you free. I pray this today in the glorious name of Jesus more than ever. I pray that this message falls on fertile ground and that it bears much fruit for the kingdom to expand the kingdom of God because it's all about you, Jesus. It's not about us. Father God, remove us more less of us and more of you today in jesus mighty name i pray hallelujah listen man this this message is entitled expectations what are you expecting god to do in your life i mean we're putting god in a box yo i've noticed that we don't expect god to really perform we don't believe his word because we're not expecting i mean if somebody called you and invited you to, to a, a weekend getaway to the mountains what do you do you prepare you pack you get the things because you're expecting to go right if somebody uh is getting married what do they do they prepare for the wedding if it's raining thor is thundering outside what do you do you get an umbrella you prepare you put your raincoat on this is what I'm talking about. Are you actively preparing for the promises that God has promised you for? Let me give you a personal example, man. So I'm celibate. I've been single for seven years. I believe that God has a spot for me. Why? Because his word says it's not good for man to be alone. God made woman for man not man for woman. So God is preparing me for the man that he's already set aside for me. I believe this is all my heart and soul. If you know me personally, I talk about this. Um, I'm not thirsty, okay, but I'm, I, I, try, I thought, I believed I was ready. You know what God told me a couple days ago? I was sitting here and I'm praying, talking to him. He goes, well, if you really believe that I got your husband, why haven't you bought a dress yet? I was like, oh, Jesus, don't, don't mess with me. I said, okay, so you know what? I'm actually going to start looking for dresses. I thought about it. I already, I know the idea of the wedding dress that I want, but I've not, I haven't actually made plans to purchase it. You know what? I'm going to buy my dress because I know the word of God is true. This is what I'm talking about. I need you to walk in the expectation that God is going to fulfill the promises that he has spoken over you. Stop whining. Stop acting like a victim. We're not victims. We're victors. We're more than conquerors in Christ. I pray today that in Malachi 3.10, it says that God will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing blessing that you cannot contain why are we coming to the throne room with a saucer okay lord fill my blessings up no boo boo i'm coming with a couple of of huge trucks backing them up pee, pee, to the throne room honey i'm gonna open up that truck i'm gonna step back and say god go ahead and fill it because you are you are above and beyond more than i could ask or imagine right so this is the god that i serve i pray that you get this in your spirit today that you start to believe the promises of god that you expect god to move on his word see because god moves on his word so are you releasing his word today from your mouth or are you speaking about your circumstances are you speaking that you single that you lonely or are you believing that god got somebody for you honey I need you to stand with me on this today and expect God to move on his word because our God is faithful. He doesn't know how to fail, y'all. Okay? I love you guys. I pray that this stirs you up today. I am on Expecting Road and Blessed Boulevard. Where you at? Holla.